Smartmouth uh, coming at you remotely from all different places. We It took us forever to figure out how to get this Zoom thing recording and stuff. So um, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, since this is all remote, this is probably going to be less of an actual interview and more of just like a therapy session where we just talk and spout off about our new song. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, Harry, do you have uh, do you have the questions and stuff that we're supposed to answer? Yes, I will be your guide on this journey All right. in space in time since I'm in space right now. <laughs> so, okay, the first question I have is explaining your single or album. What is the meaning of the song? So, Casey, what's the meaning of the song, bruh? So yeah, yeah so the me. meaning of the song, if you listen to it, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's really just our take of um, what's happening, and not just with COVID-19, but just uh, everything that's been happening lately from the Australian fires to COVID-19 to um, all the political wars, racial wars, inequality, injustice. Um, you name it, and it just seems like the world is battling a lot of turmoil around and this song is just kind of encompassing our point of view on that and just the uncertainty that we're living in and um, trying to meander our way through finding some uh, positivity at the end of the day while living in some pretty scary times. So far, Amen. so good. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Preach. Um, next question. What was the recording process like? Tyler, I'm going to let you start that one. Um, well, Casey brought this song to us, and uh, it was something. Needed a little work, it but it was something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we started messing around with it, and uh, was it one night we just decided we were going to do things and make stuff so happen? Yeah, well, basically, like, kind of going back on what you were just saying. So this, the song initially wasn't really encompassing um, everything going on right now at first. At first, it was like a concept idea where I was wanting to write a song about Forrest Gump. It's my all-time favorite movie. And even in the fin in the final product, you can listen and you can hear three or four Forrest Gump references. And at the same time, it just it came across really cheesy at first. And I realized that. Well, I, came, yeah, I came to y'all and I was sorry, like, I got this new idea. Yeah, I was like, you got this new idea, and I was playing it for you, and I could see, I could feel it in the room. Y'all were all like, yeah, it's really good. And I'm like, okay, so this is horrible. Um, let's work on it. So well, I, like, I, like, on it. I love Forrest Gump. Like, I love Forrest Gump. But I was sitting there as hard as I could, like. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. I worked on it. I took the hint. I did it. I but... read the room. I took the hint. I worked on it. Um, but either way, before I had finished working on it, this is a few days later, I still only had like a verse and a chorus. Tyler comes up like, let's record it. I'm like, dude, the song's not done yet. I don't even know the direction of it. I don't know the structural layout of it yet. He's like, I don't care. I want to record something. So we mic up a guitar and he's just like, all right, play it. A couple guitars, like, a couple guitars. What? It was a couple of guitars, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um. It was, um, yeah, I, I just kind of faked my way through saying, okay, here's where we'll put a chorus. Here's where I guess we'll have verse two here. All right, let's kind of, the whole structure of the song was, was completely just like wings because Tyler here got happy hands and wanted to just press record on something that night. But you know what? <laughs> it was some good constructive uh, song building. It worked because the greatest uh, push. structure didn't change at all. <laughs> From that point out. No, no. I, I was a great push in a perfect direction. Yeah, it's what needed to happen. We didn't even know it. That whole night, exactly. I was like, it's never going to work. This is a waste of time. But no, it, it worked. It was great. Yeah. Um, cool. So then the recording process from there was just uh, after that initial thing, it was really kind of easier because it gave me some direction on where to go with the song. Um, lyrically and structurally um, and then you know your bass parts kind of came together really smoothly at that point the rest of the song at that point was really smooth um, yeah 
And we branched out and uh, added in Maddie and Jesse and uh, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I saw like, the I said one J, which like, other J? <laughs> yeah. One of the big things that we were doing with this song is we wanted to, since we're all having to work remotely, we wanted to get as many people involved as possible and show that even during times where we're all locked up. Um, and isolated that, you know, art lives on and you can't stop collaboration. You can't stop music. Um, we reached out to all these friends of ours. Um, well, some friends and some strangers that are now friends. Um, and I think just everybody's contributions uh, just made the song perfect. Yeah, I agree. Cool. What do we got next? Well, I think that answered the other two questions as well, because the other two questions was, what was the writing process like and who did we work with? Um, okay, yeah. So, I mean, we self-produce, uh, I guess just kind of starting from the ground up there. We self-produce everything. We record everything ourselves, and uh, we do our own mix. Um, the only thing we don't do is master. So, uh, Brandon All's house um, that owns uh, Still House Mastering down in South Carolina. I want to say Green Hills, somewhere around there. Either way, he is the man, and um, he just made this thing just shine and the polish that he's on it was great but yeah we do everything else here in the house um and then yeah like we said like uh we wrote what we needed to and um all of our guest uh musicians and singers and stuff came in and just what we wanted to do was say here is an idea we're working with and uh we didn't really give them much more direction with that we just said just take all the time you need listen to it and just send us some ideas and um, Maddie sent us um, her idea, and it was perfect. All I did was just kind of chop up different parts of the song, put those ideas in, and everything she did was great. Uh, Jesse sent me eight different guitar solos, and he just said, pick your favorite one. And I couldn't pick, so I literally put them all in there. So in the song, <laughs> um, it's less of like a guitar solo, really. It's all more just kind of like feel and texture. Um, which is why I think we could get away with actually putting in eight solos all at once. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think it feels like eight solos when you listen to it. It just feels kind of ambient. And it feels just, you know, like some added texture. But, yeah, I mean, everything was just so easy to do. I, I didn't have to fight to make anything fit, which is especially fun because there are so many things happening in this mix. There's, there's a million different instruments, and there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I think we wound up pushing... There were there was over two hundred tracks in the song by the end of it. I'm pretty sure. So, but we made it work. Yeah, but I think every single time, like we got together before it got crazy and all this mess got crazy, crazier, I should say. Yeah. Um, every part of it was effortless. Like I don't think any part of it was very. I mean, I'm sure there was moments that was stressful for us, but at individual pieces and time and time that we were like oh crap we gotta get this done or we want this to be perfect or this or that but as far as like i remember like you were talking about earlier when we recorded my bass like it was so fast it was almost like okay that's it okay <laughs> like that's what i, 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 I was love so it. quick i don't even remember like well that's what i, I love it when songs write themselves that's the thing that's yeah. when the, i feel like that's when i really know that i'm working on something to be proud of is when i feel like i don't even have to actually work on it you know, mm -hmm. um, it's like it's just there. Like as soon as that idea, as soon as that foundation is there, it's just like, OK, now let's roll with it. And you just know immediately what will work and what won't work. Um, and yeah, it was it was super easy to just arrive at that final product at the end of the day. And then you crushed the video for it. So there's there's an awesome video for this song out that uh, Harrison just took charge for. And um, it's it, it what the video does on the visual side of things, I think, complements what happens on the audio side of things so well and it just makes the story come full circle. You know? Yep. Um, I guess that's about it. Did we answer everything? Yeah. All, All right. right. Good. Well, good work, team. Anybody else want to say anything or are we done? I think, I think we're think good. We're the bag. I think we're good. All right. Well, on that, go. I am going to try to make it to Chipotle. I think I'm going to go back in my spaceship. All right, yeah, I'm going to go listen to my huge album right now. <sighs> Good luck on the Chipotle. Thanks. Have fun at the beach. Get some tan. Yeah. Looks like there's we'll a nice do, we'll do something like that. Please don't take your shirt off. Please don't take your shirt off. <laughs>
<laughs> no, do it. Do it. That's how we end the video. Do it. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> it looked like you did for a second. I take the shirt off. Like, uh. <laughs> if I take the shirt off, it'll be obvious I'm also not wearing pants. So. That's what, hey, we can upload this interview uh, to um, not only Music of the Future. Thanks for having us, by the way. Uh, but hey, we can start a Heart Mouth OnlyFans. I'd pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man on beach goes shirtless. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>